Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, this is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have Chevy Colorado 2012, and uh, the fuel pump control module was replaced. This car has no chip, it's like a Toyota ignition switch, but it's Chevy. So we are using, as usual, our uh, GM website to get the software that we need to program it, AC Delcotis. And you're going to log in. I'm going to log in first to prepare the system. They change it. This fuel control module is located in the bottom of the car. Uh, it controls the fuel pump uh, activation and the speed of it in case the requirement is being sent by the engine control module. So I'm going to log in here first. As you see here, it have a verification code that send it to you to your email address and then from here <clears throat> you're gonna agree with your system and then click continue then we're gonna go to the page in here you have uh, how many subscription active for you if you already pay for it and then also you just uh, you're gonna add if you already have a subscription you know subscription uh, one subscription is like forty dollar so if you already have a subscription you're gonna go in connect and you go to the next so i'm gonna click on i already have for example say view i already have admin because you already have a subscription if you don't have a subscription you have to buy now when you come here, you have to say launch Tech Connect. If you never have it, you have to download it. So we're gonna go to that uh, launch Tech Connect. Right. Say it again. You are connected. I'm connected, right? Thank you. So I'm I'm doing I'm good I'm good now. Um, I'm checking my system now. Where is the old one? You have the old one. This is the fuel control module which when it go bad, it is all the way in the back near the rear tire. Okay, so now uh, when you change it, you have to program it. So I'm gonna try to connect to vehicle. Some of them, honestly, they come programmed. Yeah, Do, am I connect already? Why I'm not seeing anything? Okay, let me take this one out. Okay, I connect it again. Cancel, yeah, here you see now. I supposed to be connect. I don't know why it doesn't want to go. Connect the vehicle. It's supposed to say okay. Change device. MDI2, continue. Why it doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna work? I don't know. SBS. Maybe I have to update this device. Yeah, manager. This is a car starter shut off now. You say MDI not connected. Connect. Please connect. See if there is any um, MDI update. You say everything is good. We don't have no problem. Everything look good. 
Now I want to go back to my system and see why I'm not able to connect. Okay, it's not connected yet. Sometimes you cannot connect with VIN number. So go 2012. Chevrolet Colorado DLC is not connected, let me see. I was not able to communicate with it because I have more than one OBD2. You see, I have this OBD2 here, and I have another one here, but the original one is here. That's why they put some uh, they put kind of uh, now I believe I will be able to communicate because right now here I'm not able to go to the front because the communication was not okay. Let me put this back and then see if I will be able to. If you see this light like this, that means you are not communicating well. Now, you see that piece is gone. That means there is no communication with the, with the car. So now here also it changed. Before it's red, you can click on it and now click connect. Now the computer will go and try to communicate with the VIN number and the car. VCI device provided VIN year model mismatch. Okay. Let me see what happened. When it will, Chevrolet Colorado is come out. Now, what you need to do, click on SPS in the corner. And it will open, this is the call it service programming two. The first service programming one is no more. And we notice also you cannot program a used computer because it will, it will reject the VIN number. So right now I am in the communication mode, ignition is on. If you notice the car is start and turn off. Let me show you. This is the car is start and shut off. Why? Because the fuel pump control module is not programmed, it's empty. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I will go here in a programming mode, replace program. Okay, and then click next. There is a sound, there is a music in the background. Hopefully I will not get, you see here, this is a fuel control module pump. Only programming and then click next. Warning, the current vehicle will take one of your available VIN slot. I say proceed. Because you pay for it. Now, he validated everything. Now I'm gonna go to next. That's the software that need to be done. Now click next. And now you're gonna see the system will get the software. Okay. Hold on. Yes. On the left side, the right side, what? Hold on, just one minute. <clears throat> okay, it's done. You say your, your VIN subscription has been updated. You would like to view your profile now. You say later. And this car here, you can go proceed with the same car if you want. And if you don't want, also you can just cancel. I'm going to turn the key off. Wait a little bit, like 30 seconds. And start it again. Let me 
start. The car is starting to run fine, you see? Perfect. So this is a quick information on how you use TechLine Connect and you pay for it and you're good to go. After you finish, you're gonna close it and you're good to go. And you're good. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic. Please subscribe, share and like and see you in another video. This is Muhammad Idris.